Okay, so you watched me try a bidet for the first time. Now you're going to watch me try a safety razor for the first time. So this is actually a Stolly uh, razor. This was built in probably the 30s or 40s of the 1900s, so almost 100 years ago. And um, at first I was kind of nervous. I didn't know what was up with this thing. And I'm going to show you this. You twist it. And it vibrates. So you can actually see it. And that's kind of terrifying. And it's got these little coily looking ridges. Um, so we're obviously not using a hundred year old blade. Got these from Walgreens. Um, and it took me a minute to try to figure out how to use this. So first of all, you unscrew the top and it comes apart into three pieces. So um, there's actually a patent brand inside there made in the USA. Um, does not give me a year though. So you take this apart and actually what does it say in here? Here's the patent number. Um, but So um, I believe that I have had a tetanus shot. I probably should scrub that out first, but I'm not going to. So I couldn't even figure out how to do this. Um, push down, dispense in direction of arrow. So if I push down the middle and then push this way. And there's a, you see this on the back, so you can put the used razors in there. And I guess in some old homes, there is a, like a little slit inside of the medicine cabinet. So if you ever see in old homes, there's like a little tiny slit in the wall of the medicine cabinet. And it's just a hole so that you put your used razors down there your used blades and it just falls right down the hole down the hole into your house so these are actually very very thin and that's that's good it was it's much thinner than I expected um, and you put this right in here like that and you put this back on there like that and you turn that on like that and honestly I'm kind of nervous I don't know if I want to turn this on um, so it's not bad. I guess I expected it to stick out more and I thought, well, you know, especially like under your arm or something, it would hit on the edges and tear you up, but it actually doesn't look too bad. This is really is not scary. I thought it would be, you know, really terrifying. Um, I'm still a little nervous. Now, uh, here's my leg that you can see I've let grow out a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit of water on there. You can see my sock mark from, you know, wearing socks. Um, and because this is a men's razor, typically, we have men's shaving cream. And it's a shave gel, which, you know, you would normally have like a brush and a soap. But, you know, it's been almost a hundred years. You would think that we would have some time changing I'm going to start with this not twisted on because it's pretty scary. Um, ah, I'm going to get all this off my hand. But yeah, I'm like kind of nervous about this. At first I couldn't understand why it was a double blade. And then I saw someone use it and they went down and then back up. So it's kind of interesting. So I'm not as scared as I thought I would be. Okay, so... This definitely does take a little bit of getting used to because you don't know where exactly you need to put the blade. Um, and so I do know that people that claim to have really coarse hair, they, um, okay, I'm gonna tell you, it feels weird with this metal because we're used to the plastic and we're used to being spoiled, especially ladies with our aloe vera strips. Um, they, it's pretty smooth right there. So are we ready for this? There's still like some shaving cream underneath there. Um, and I kind of get it. I mean, what did these blades cost? Go ahead and tell me. Five bucks. Five bucks. And you get, I don't even know how many in there. 
Um, let's see if it tells us how many you get in there. Um, it doesn't even tell me how many you get in there. There's clearly more, but... So we're going to turn this on now. Okay, here we go. Um, well, I don't feel like the vibration is helping. I kind of feel like it did fine without it. Um, this was actually the catalyst for the first electric razor. And the first electric razor was actually plugged into the wall, um, which I don't think I would want to put my, uh, okay, that's a little, um, once you put a little pressure on there, it's, it's not bad. I mean, I really, I could use this. I definitely could. There are other safety razors that don't have such a big clunky, um, you know, handle. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've heard good things. I heard that you don't end up with, uh, that you don't have a lot of the issues with razor burn and bumps and whatever. Um, I definitely can see this as an option considering this is a hundred years old. We don't have much change in our razors. Um, yeah, um, I don't know. I really can't say I'm not going to say, oh yeah, this is wonderful. I'm going to use this forever. Um, I think this vibration is kind of unnecessary and weird. Um, I don't have an opinion. I will say I'm less afraid than I was in the past. My legs do feel smooth. Um, this could be pretty quick. I, like I said, I don't have any problem. Uh, like there is a little bit of a figuring out where you want the blade, like laying but it's not scary. It's not going to bend like all of the ones out now. I would probably want to go over this again, but I'm not terrified. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It's definitely better than a disposable razor, but it's not as luxurious as your fancy new razors. Uh, I don't feel like jagged or anything. I don't know if it's because I use shaving cream, but yeah, that's all I got. So thank you. And uh, let me know what you want me to try next.